here in Our Lady of Carnes Shrine, beautiful statue of Our Lady of, of Lourdes, because that's how she appeared here in this, uh, at this shrine um, 39 years ago. And today we had the opening penitential service, whatever you want to call it, of the Synodal Church. And they had uh, interesting new sins uh, that they were confessing. And I, I suppose a new church needs a new doctrine, <laughs> needs a new set of sins and so forth. Uh, just to remind people, Our Lady did prepare us for these times, so be calm. In the midst of the storm, you know, a false church and a false Christ. It wasn't just uh, Father Gobi talking about this, but others as well. And so the church needs to go through its passion. And that's what we see happening at this moment in time. Very interesting, like surreal day. I mean, you had all of this, what's going on in the Vatican. And at the same time, you have a stream of bombs being dropped around Jerusalem you know, Iran attacking Jerusalem um, and Israel. I mean, uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, you have you've a war with Hamas, you have a war with Hezbollah, Gaza, Lebanon, Iran. Uh, it doesn't look like this is going to quieten down. And who are, who are, who are Iran's uh, allies? Uh, well, Russia. And others, so it's going to pray for the world. But in the, you know, we have a very confused church, and we have a very, a very sad world at the moment. Uh, and it doesn't look like uh, things are going to get um, better anytime soon. Uh, as I said last year, when I was doing the consecration to Jesus through Mary, uh, preparing to go to Medjugorje in October. And this strongly in prayer, don't go to Medjugorje, go to France, go to San Maximin de Santabam, uh, do the consecration in France, and from there renew the faith in Ireland. Um, I don't know why that call came, but it was like this big foreboding. It was like a horror being presented to me that would happen on the 7th of October last year. And I felt helpless. And I was saying to people, and I'm on the record of saying this, you know, we need to pray the rosary on the 7th of October. We, there's something coming on the 7th of October. You know, this, this, this sense of dread, this sense of horror that was coming to me last October. And, and so I didn't go to Medjugorje in October. I went later on in the year. I went to France. I did the consecration. And as I was doing the consecration in front of the remains of St. Mary Magdalene, uh, the relics of St. Mary Magdalene, you know, all hell breaks loose in Israel. And nearly a year later, this hell is, has escalated and escalated and escalated you know, uh, and no sign of abating. And at the same time, we have, you know, a crazy leadership in Rome that is more fixated in creating a new church than actually teaching us the faith. Thank God we have the catechism, guys. That's all I can say to you. Thank God we have the, the apostolic teaching of the apostles. So when they come at you with these new sins, don't worry. <sighs> You know, the modernists need their day. So you'll just have to let the modernists play out. There's a, an eternal law at play now in the church, and it's the law of the tower. Any tower that's built that doesn't lead to God will be destroyed. I witnessed it. I witnessed the law of the tower. Tolkien talks about the towers. What happened to the towers? What happened to the, to the towers in uh, the two towers, actually? Tolkien talks about anything that doesn't lead to the truth will collapse. So, you know, we saw this with the Legions of Christ the, in the church, one of the biggest congregations, most famous. 
etc., etc., etc. The new evangelization, the new, the future of the church, a tower that collapsed because it wasn't leading to God. It wasn't founded on the truth. And we see this with this new synodal church, a new tower being constructed in the church, simple as. With its doctrines, with its teachings, with its sins, and the gaslighting has begun. The gaslighting is there, simple as. So you'll just have to endure this for a while. When the church needs to proclaim the gospel, what are they doing? More focused on changing the church and presenting us a new church, a new synodal church, you know. So let the midwives birth their church. And if it's from God, it will proceed. I suspect that it is another tower in the church that like the law of towers with that don't go to God, they get, God will strike them down. Simple as. That's the law. We've seen it so many times during the history of the church. What doesn't lead us to God won't stand the storms that are coming. And we need to pray for the church. But thank God for our Blessed Mother. She prepared us for the false church. She spoke about it. She gave us messages. She warned us time and time and time again. Garabandal warned us. Fatima warned us. Akita warned us. Akita, not just a message to a nun that we have to discern. No, 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 no. 101 times she cried in Akita. And what was the pronouncement of the church with the guidance of Cardinal Ratzinger on Akita? Constat de supernaturalitate. Do you understand the highest grade that today only a Pope can pronounce? But it was pronounced on Akita. Read the messages of Akita. Do not fall for this new false church being presented before your eyes. Cardinal Muller will say it. Bishop Schneider is talking about this. And don't take my word for it. Listen to our Blessed Mother. Listen to her. She warned us. If she is a real mother, she will warn us when we're going wrong. So how many times does she need to appear to tell us the same thing over and over and over and over again. When she appeared in Quebec and Rwanda, did we listen to her? No, one million people did. When she appeared in Medjugorje, 10 years before the Balkans war, did the church listen? No. Did the world listen? No. It's a bit like the fivefold Eucharistic miracles in Buenos Aires. Did the Archbishop do much with them? No. They got bricked up, bricked up behind a wall in a church. And are they proclaimed to the world? No. Message after message after message after message. Fatima. Father Gobi. Many people say, oh no, Father Gobi, he got one thing wrong, so his message is not wrong. But I don't think so. They've opened his process for canonization. He talks about a false church and a false Christ on the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Go and read the messages. Why did Our Lady give these messages? Because they, they are playing out in the church now. You are witnessing the construction of a new synodal church. And they openly say that. They openly say that. It's not be about becoming a new church. It's about becoming a different church. A synodal church. A synodal church. And if you don't want to be synodal, you're guilty of sin. You, Robert Nugent, you're guilty. Expert gaslighting, yeah. We'll toss, we'll toss our doctrine of synodality at you. <laughs> you don't want to listen. You're close-minded. You're rigid. You're traditional. Close-minded. Don't want to listen. We're moving on with the new project of destroying the church, synodality. It's the truth. It is the truth. The church had synods. It is not 
a synodal church. No matter what you what they want to bring out. But anyway, thanks be to God, our blessed mother warned us about what? A synod. When? 60 years ago. Go and read the messages of Garbandal. Go figure why they're not approved in the church. You know, bishops talk about the Christ abuses a lot. Our Lady was talking about the Christ abuses long before any bishop spoke about it. Long before she sp- they spoke about it, she spoke about it to the church, and no, and the church didn't want to listen. You know, the church didn't want to listen. Sooner or later, you will listen. You mightn't listen to Robert Nugent Blogger, but you will listen to it when the the tower collapses. Like all towers that don't lead to God, they collapse. So pray for the church. I don't give this message to, from my own prophet, I go to Christ. Know your faith. Know your faith. Know your faith. What is in the catechism? Where in the catechism of the Catholic Church, in the perennial teaching of the Catholic Church, does it ever say we are a synodal church? Nowhere. Nowhere. There is no sin against synodality. There's sin against charity. You can be charitable. But you do not have to listen to what they're selling you in Rome by the most liberal and modernists, bishops and cardinals the church has ever seen. And sadly, we have so many bishops around the world that are asleep and we'll have to put up with this. But Our Lady warned us. She warned us time again, time again. She warned us. She appeared here to give two words, faith and hope. It was for these times. You know, so pray for the church. But, you know, just dig out the messages that Our Lady gave. Dig out the messages. Isn't this interesting? Interesting times, Uh, you know, that we live in. And again, you know, Don't believe me, believe our Blessed Mother. There's a great blogger or professor, Dr. Mark Miravalli, he's in the US. I don't know him personally. He explains all of this far better than I do. So dig out all of his work on all of this. Mark um, McLean in, in the UK, you'll see in his channel, he's been doing a lot more investigation and putting timelines and the messages with um, Xavier Eral on his channel. So if you go there, they've spent tons of time talking about this. So you don't need to believe me when I say what I'm saying. All of these experts have already dug them out, investigated them, shown them to you. Maria Valtorta, her work, the poem of the man God, go to the very last chapter of her work and you will see why Christ is saying why we needed that work for these times. You know, Christ gave a teaching to be given to the world. He didn't give, leave a synodal church. You know, the church has synods which is a very different matter, uh, to discuss certain topics at certain points of time. What we see now is the Catholic Church, copy-paste, what the Anglicans do, but, you know, baby steps, baby steps. Takes a few decades to get to where we want to get to go. Can't move too quickly. Can't move too quickly. Baby steps. You boil the frog slowly, slowly. That's what you're seeing in the church. Pray for the church. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.